My name is Jeff Falk. I'm a surgical oncologist and I subspecialize in breast cancer care. I kind of wanted to be a doctor since I was a little kid. I'm not really sure why because really no one in my family is in medicine. Um, I kind of like the science and I like taking care of people um, and I thought it was a nice way to marry the two things. I knew I wanted to do something surgical, um, but surgical oncology was a way that you establish relationships with your patients. You don't just do a surgery and then never see the patient again, like a hernia or a gallbladder where you may just do your one procedure and never meet the patient again. I see most of my patients on a yearly basis. I look forward to that. Um, and it's a way that you establish a relationship with your patient in a much closer way. I love what I do because I know I'm really making a difference in people's lives. Um, you know, you always think about the positive things that you do for people and that you're, you're helping them. Um, and I look forward to that. So we spend a lot of time with our new patients evaluating what's going on, listening to what their problems are and what their issues are. Um, it's a pretty comprehensive review of what's going on as far for what I do related to their breast uh, health and breast care. Um, I review their images, I review their pathology, we get appropriate testing that we need. Um, and then um, we do a physical exam and then discuss what the options for treatment are. Margin Probe is a device that we've been using here at St. John for a little over two years now. Uh, we were fairly early adopters of the device. It was FDA approved in 2013. Uh, what the device is, it's a way after we do a lumpectomy for breast cancer to evaluate all the margins. And so the goal of any lumpectomy is to remove the breast cancer with a negative margin um, and then hopefully not have to go back to the operating room. So we found we did a large study using the margin probe device, which uh, is a device you kind of hold up to the lumpectomy uh, while you're, after you're done uh, to evaluate all the edges. I um, mean, it really essentially tells us is the margin clean or not. It's pretty good at that. How good? Um, it's actually reduced our what's called re-excision rate where you actually have to take a patient back to the operating room from one out of five women down to one out of 12. So it's a big difference. Um, and it really helps us to avoid having to take that that woman back for an extra surgery and no one wants to have to go through that. In the last year or so, um, there have been uh, several devices that have come out which allow us to target that surgery and get exactly to where the cancer is even when you can't feel it. And the device we've chosen to use here at St. John is a device called the Savvy Scout. And what that is, it's a little chip that actually gives off a radar signal. Um, it can be put in right where the cancer is by a radiologist uh, prior to surgery. Uh, it can actually be put in up to 30 days before the surgery. And then in the operating room, we use a probe that actually gives off an infrared light and actually beeps over the uh, spot. If you kind of analogy is like a metal detector that people use at the beach, it kind of works the same way. Uh, but it allows us to really target where that spot is so we can A, limit what we're taking out and more than that, uh, make sure we're doing everything to try to keep that centered in the middle of our specimen, which once again helps with getting a negative margin. All of these technologies that we've adopted here at St. John uh, in our breast cancer program are really designed to not only facilitate a better cosmetic outcome, but also just a more effective way of removing cancers. Uh, and ultimately, it, it leads to more patient satisfaction. A, they're getting their cancer removed, but in addition to that, we're trying to optimize what the cosmetic outcome will be at the same time. Well, I have three children, so I spend a lot of time with my family, mostly going to their, their events. But uh, for myself, I, I'm a pretty avid runner. Uh, I like to exercise. I love going to my kids' plays and sporting events, things like that. So I read a lot uh, on my own just for pleasure and uh, um, spend time with my family.